Well, guys, if you thought that ISIS was out of Iraq, they're not. They were driven out of Mosul, all right, as the Iraqi forces, along with the United States, had worked to drive them out of there. But we had a series, a series of suicide bombing attacks that took place today in Iraq. There are different restaurants and checkpoints uh, in and around the city. Very sad, guys. 60 people, at least 60 people right now, and more than 100 injured in these attacks. A death toll could rise, guys, as many of the people that were injured in these blasts uh, are said to be in critical uh, condition. Just absolutely heinous attacks as ISIS is continuing the savage murders and everything and the butchering of Christians and just innocent people uh, there in Iraq. All right, guys. Well, they're saying right now that ISIS looks to be shifting back to a little bit more what they used to do with these suicide bomb attacks, all right, and going back to their original tactics. Now, Iraqi and Kurdish security officials say that the Sunni militants are likely to wage a guerrilla war in Iraq, all right, after their self-proclaimed caliphate in Mosul had collapsed. The Islamic State is also under siege in the Syrian city of Raqqa, where they're also battling for that city. It's operational base for the attacks in the Middle East and also the West. Now, security officials describe Thursday's attacks as an attempt to send a clear message to the Islamic State followers that the group is still strong and can operate in other parts of Iraq following its territorial losses. After losing the war in Iraq and the shrinking of its power, ISIS returned back to its old style of an insurgency by carrying out suicide attacks, which is a clear sign that the terrorist group is retreating, said police intelligence colonel. ISIS activity is usually concentrated in western and northern parts of Iraq, although bomb attacks in mostly Shiite in the south, where the bulk of the country's oil is produced, and security forces hold a tighter grip. All right, so they're still battling that right now, guys. Like I said, they attack near restaurants and other checkpoints. I mean, absolutely, guys. I mean, just a scene of chaos. You can imagine what these poor people over there, uh, what they have to face every single day guys it's just horrific we need to really keep uh, all of them guys in our prayers hospital sources said uh, that at least uh, 10 iranian pilgrims who were also visiting the holy shiite shrines were also among the dead this is the deadliest attack was at a restaurant uh, there west of nasiria it said one attacker blew up his suicide vest inside of the crowded restaurant while a group of other gunmen had started to throw grenades and fire at people in the diners. I mean, it's just a scene, like I said, guys, of utter chaos. Also, people had died at various checkpoints, uh, but that the toll from that, guys, incident still remains uh, unclear. Just a terrible situation, guys. The murders, uh, just the hatred uh, that is going on through this land right now. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. We know that, guys. We see the days approaching the earth is full of violence right now. It's full of violence, full of hatred, deception, people falling away from Christ. Don't let that be you, though. If you're watching this video right now, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior today, guys. You could be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. You could come into the kingdom of God today where you will have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. Don't delay. If you'd like, you can also email me directly cardsfan480 at gmail.com. I will put the email in the description below. You can access it from there as well. All right, guys, I'll continue here to keep you up to speed on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. Guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.